Hey guys, as you might know, Tekken 7 version 1.03 patch has been released today. And I just wanted to go over my thoughts on it as well as just the notes. And it says here that the version 1.03 patch includes some improvements and game design modifications regarding the following topics observed in version 1.02. It's been released as of today, July 5th. And a further announcement will be made when the patch is released for Xbox One and Steam. <clears throat> now the first one they have here in the notes is improved matchmakings and online modes. It takes less time to find an opponent in online modes. That's a big one. You know, I, I usually I could go around say a minute or two, sometimes even more between finding matches. Um, I think the quickest it'll be given on a da daily basis would be like 30 seconds so we'll see how much quicker it'll be and now if it's every like five seconds and you know that'd be great um so the next one here is improved usability and player match now the game offers more opportunities for players to navigate through the menu and player match session this change should allow players to leave sessions more easily yes Alright, you know, this was a weird one. When I was in player matches, there'd be times where I literally could not leave the lobby. You know, not a big air, not a big problem, but it was just really weird. So I'm glad that they're changing that minor thing. So the next one they said, adjusted the restriction of re the revenge match in ranked match. Now players can have unlimited revenge matches with the same opponent in ranked match. Um, okay, you know, I always thought it was, I thought it was weird that you could only have a 1-1, one, one. possibly it wasn't really a 2 out of 3, it was just one revenge match and that was it. No, that was kind of weird, but this, I don't know how to feel about this, I mean, unlimited revenge matches? I think I would have rather gone with the... 2 out of 3 style that Street Fighter 5 has in place. Because when it's unlimited, I just see people using that to boost. I think it's going to be Boost City, and not only that, but if it's unlimited, this might not make any sense, but I feel like people are not going to feel obligated to give you a rematch. Or two rematches. If, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what comes of it, but unlimited, that's interesting. I think they should have gone with 2 out of 3, but that's just me. Uh, Alright, so moving on. Uh, fixed a revenge match related issue. Fixed an issue where an opponent's character and name are sometimes changed upon having revenge matches. Okay, I've never seen that happen to me, so... Um, I guess that sucks if that happened to you, but I've never seen that. Okay. Next one. Made some sound volume adjustments in Jukebox. Adjusted the BGM volume in Jukebox for Tekken 1, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, and Tekken 4. You know, I noticed that. I noticed that um, all the older music was really quiet. When you play it on the stage, you can barely hear it. I thought that was really strange, so... I'm glad to see that they're fixing that. Alright, moving on. Uh, made some color adjustments to certain customization items. This is to fix an issue where players can set certain colors black to certain items in a way that was not originally intended by the dev. Uh oh. You know, I think I know what this means. I think this is what I was doing, how I made Dragonov all black with the skeleton. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. That's a nerf. Oh man. How am I supposed to be funny now? Alright. Alright, well, uh, I guess that's all I have to say on that one. Moving on. Adjusted Leo's character customization. Fixed an issue where Leo's upper body disappears when equipping certain items. Huh. I've never customized my Leo. I mean, I used to main Leo, but I never 
customized them, so I've never seen this, nor have I seen it online. You know, I fight a lot of Leo players. Pretty sure I've never seen any Leo with a missing upper body. <laughs> well, okay. Moving on. Game design adjustments. Adjusted some behaviors in the game regarding certain characters' moves. Fix an issue where some characters throw moves didn't properly reflect rage state. Huh. Fix an issue where some characters throw moves don't probably reflect rage state. I guess some kind of rare bug. Maybe some characters weren't getting the rage boost when they did some throws. Huh, but glad to see that's that's getting fixed. Something I never noticed. And that's it for patch 1.03. Now also to add to that, we saw that Harada tweeted earlier today that uh, the PS4 version of Tekken 7 will be re receiving a decrease in input lag for DualShock 4 controllers. And I am so happy to hear about that. Because as you may have seen before in my earlier videos, I was raging hardcore for the input lag. It's, it's really bad. It's really bad on PS4. So, I know right now it's around 8 frames. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if they could lower that to around, say, at least 5 or 6 frames to the level that where Street Fighter V is at, or even better to get it to the point where it's even better than five frames say like three or four frames that would be perfect or may maybe not perfect but that would be better than i would expect so if if they could fix it to the point where i could actually use my reactions and not predict when my opponent is going to go low then that i would greatly appreciate that but otherwise, it looks like uh, they're doing a good job with Tekken 7 so far. Um, I can't wait to see what the DLC characters are going to be, but um, I guess we'll have to wait for that. As for now, we'll have to do with this patch, which I really think improves the game greatly, especially if the input delay is going to be fixed. Other than that, the ranked match issues, I didn't have, I didn't really have a problem with it. I was fine with just one revenge match, but, you know, unlimited, we'll see how it plays out. I'm, gonna, I'm about to play some ranked matches right now, but we'll see if the unlimited revenge matches plays a factor in my experience online. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a good day.